Hi everybody, welcome back to Nanny's Reborn Nursery. Um, today is um, Mateo's day to get a close change. I had a special request for this sweet baby boy and just wanted to pop in really quick like and um, do a close change with him. This is his only, um, I think it, this may be his third, maybe his fourth time, I can't remember for sure being on video. But um, he needs his hair dampened a little bit and combed out. But um, yeah, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and I'll just do a close change with him. And like I said, I did have a special request for him. So here he is. And uh, for all of you that don't know, um, if you're new to my channel, this is my partial silicone um, kit sculpt. And he was done by the amazing uh, Carol... Manukian, I think it's the way you pronounce her last name. But yeah, um, just wanted to pop in, like I said, and do a close change with him. I'm gonna take off his cute little bracelet that she made for him, and we're gonna take his little tigger. I thought he looked really cute with this little tigger, so I just, I set, I set him with him. We'll put him over here. And then I'm gonna put his little bracelet down there so I don't lose it. I'm gonna put this on him. I'm hoping it's gonna fit. This is a preemie size. And Mateo is, um, he does have some length on him. But I'm hoping this is gonna fit him. But it's a beautiful little uh, Peter Rabbit side snap um, one piece sleeper that I bought for him. And I got this off of Etsy. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens. I'm. Um, I want to see him in some blue. I think he'll look beautiful in blue. Won't you, little man? Yeah, I hope so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you all right now. This baby, little baby Mateo here, is my absolute pride and joy. Um, you may... you. You may not see him change, see me change him very often because I'm very, very particular with him. Um, I'm afraid of him. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not per se afraid of him, but I just feel like he's much safer. I'm, I am particular. I am particular with my babies. I'll go ahead and I'll tell you that right now. But, um... I just like to see him laying there. I don't like to mess with him a whole, whole lot. Uh, I do know the more we mess with him, the more, you know, the more things, paint can come off and hair can come out. And I'm just, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just that way. That's who I am. Um, I'm, ca I'm very, very cautious with my silicones, especially. Um... I am going to show them, of course. Uh, why have them? You know, if you're not going to share them with your friends, why have them? But, um, I am, um, I am very cautious with this sweet baby boy. This will give you all a chance to see his, um, arms and legs when I take this off of him. Oh, my goodness. That's on there good and tight. Some of these new snaps on the, these outfits, on these, uh, the snaps on these newer outfits, they're tight. The little snaps are. But Mateo is, like I said, he's a partial um, silicone. He's not really partial. He's more of a cuddle baby. But um, I still consider him sort of to be a partial because he has the silicone head, the silicone hands, and the silicone feet. Uh, which is my absolute favorite absolutely one of my absolute favorite babies to mess with and the reason I say that is simply due to the fact of how poseable these babies are he's on a reggie body um for the ones that haven't seen him he's polyfill in this area then he has an elbow joint and then he has glass beads here and same with his legs now I take that back um, up here is glass beads, and then down here is polyfill. So, you can position these babies. It's unreal at how you can position them and, you know, um, fix them. 
but he's just got his body his um I can show you right quick I'll snap this right back up. I think you all have seen it before. But he just has a regular, just a regular, it's just, a, you know, a cloth body. And, uh, yeah. And then the, the only difference in this, um, actually, in this Reggie body, in a regular um, body for, uh, for cattle babies is just due to the fact, I think, mostly, more than anything, is the joints. Like, where they're sound there's some there's a big place here like sewn at the elbow here and that gives them a bit of a joint but he has those little silicone hands and little silicone feeties so yeah I'll take one of his socks off I'll let you see one of his feet that's one of his little feet <laughs> oh my goodness this boy's precious I'm telling you I'm telling you what he's he is adorable I love him, love him, love him so, so much. But it's like I said, he's one of my pride and joys in my nursery. Now, don't get me wrong, I love all my babies, I do. They mean the world to me. But this little guy right here, he's, um, he's as far as I'm concerned, he's immaculate. He is immaculate. Um, I'll pick him up and let y'all see when I get his blue outfit on him. This is new. So I'm going to have to cut the tags off here. Hubby called a while ago, and he's out doing his trading with all of his... He buys and sells and trades in animals all the time. And um, he called to let me know he was on his way home. So it hit me. I thought, yeah, and you've not done your video. You better get your fanny in there and do it before he gets home. So, yeah... Just thought I would pop in here really quick, like, and um, I watched a movie. It was a really good movie. Um, I sat in there and I watched a movie, and I kept thinking, Lisa, you better go do your video. And I didn't get up till almost, it was almost lunchtime when I got up. My, uh, my sweet Ollie, my little fur baby, my little terrier dog, he, uh, he slept good. He really, really let me sleep in, so we got a we got a good night's rest, and he didn't wake me up one time through the night either. That's that amazed me. He usually gets me up at least once. Sometimes he'll get me up twice. Let's put your little bag on your hand, little sweet boy. Gail from Susie Q's Happy Little Haven thought at this bag idea and it's just it's amazing it's amazing at how those little hands and arms if there's if their arms are silicone it's just amazing at how they just slide right through and it protects their little it protects their little uh, limbs and their little fingers especially it protects them as you go through the sleeve it just slides right through it's amazing at how well it works. Miss Susie Q definitely had, Gail definitely had a great idea. She invented this. She's got the patent on it, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Oh, this fits him perfect. Perfectly. I'm so happy. I'm so very happy about this. Very happy with it. There we go. I could put these, these little cream booties on his little feet. I'll do that. I'll just put these little cream booties right back on his little feet. Right over this, um, right over this little onesie. I think it makes it look, I don't know. I just like it. I used to do this on my real babies. My girls, when they were babies, I would put their, um, put either little booties or little socks on over their little footed uh, sleepers like this. And I, it just looks so cute, I love it. Still to this day, I just, I love the way it looks. And it matches the little, the Peter Rabbit, uh, the color of Peter Rabbit's fur. Gives it a bit of a, a little contrast there. And the colors, it breaks it up a little bit. 
and get your sweet little foot in there, little buddy. But yeah, oh my gosh, you guys, mm, 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 mm. look how beautiful, look how absolutely beautiful he looks in this blue. Isn't he gorgeous? So yeah, he's my little biracial, mm, my little biracial Mateo. Mm, my gosh, love this baby so much. You know, when I first started my collecting, I saw that a few of the ladies had a, um, uh, where's my noodle and boo? Um, I saw that a few of my of my ladies had um. I'm going to use this little comb on him that uh, Carol sent to me. Um, but I'm going to I'm gonna put it with his hair with this. I saw a few of the ladies that I had started watching in the very beginning about how... Um, there's some hair on that. Um, they had a few biracial babies. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. I'm not going to do it that way. Hang on a second. I'm just going to spray stuff in my hand a little bit and just kind of dampen him down a little, then use my comb. Kind of do it that way because I want his hair, um, I'm not going to brush his hair down. I want it to stay curly. I want it to stay curly. So I'm just gonna kind of, you know, just kind of wet it with my hands and kind of just pat it around. That's the way I want to do it. I don't like it. I'm never gonna want his hair straight. I've seen him, I've seen him with pictures of his hair where it's straight and I don't like it straight. I like it like this the best. Although he's gorgeous no matter what. You know, honestly, in all honesty, you guys, there is really nothing really and truly at all that you need to do to this sweetheart's hair. It is not matted down at all whatsoever. I was afraid that it might mat down from him just laying there, but I've not been... Um, I've not been holding him or anything much. I have some, but not a whole lot. I'm just kind of... Okay, now, now that I've got it all poofed up there, I'm not using that comb no more. I'm just going to use my hands. And just kind of give him a pat down. And just kind of pat it, if that makes any sense at all. Yep. And see, I've, um, just doing this, just from doing this, and it's probably just because of the, that there were a few little loose hairs on his head, maybe, I'm not sure, but, uh, I've gotten a few little loose hairs on my hands from his head, and I don't, don't like that, that bothers me really bad, but we're gonna stop we're gonna stop at that. I'd like to have a little bit more dampness over here on this one side. Kinda of dampen it down. Now then. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. He is. There he is with his fluffy, beautiful, gorgeous little hair. Isn't he beautiful? He, this baby, you guys, I'm telling you, this baby is absolutely, insanely gorgeous. I mean, he really, really is.
He really is. It's just insane. It's crazy. It's crazy at how gorgeous that he has been painted. Carol Manukian. And if that's, I'm not sure if that's how you spell, pronounce your last name, but I'm telling you, lady, sweet, sweet, sweet lady, your work is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. That smells so good. That was, uh, by the way, that was Noodle and Boo. Carol sent this to me in a little container. So, yeah. And I ordered me some more too, Carol, by the way. I ordered me some more, so I won't run out. She highly recommended that for Mateo's hair. And um, so I, I ordered me a bottle of it, but yeah. Ugh. I mean, you can't, I, I'm sorry, you just, you can't get, you can't get any more beautiful of a baby than that. You really can't. He's, he's magnificent. He's immaculate. He's just, he's amazing. He is absolutely amazing. And look at those lips. Those little biracial lips. How beautiful. And then he's got those dark eyebrows. They're rooted. They're rooted down and they've got a, a, a coat of silicone or something over the top so that they don't, you know, ruffle up. He's got rooted eyelashes. But his little mouth, that little mouth, those little lips, that's my favorite part. And, and this, this factor here, that chunky, those chunky little cheeks. The kit sculpt, so far I will say this, the kit sculpt, in all honesty, in all honesty, as best as I know how to tell you all, this kit sculpt in the silicone, of course I think that's only, I think that's the only, um, the kit sculpt only comes in silicone, but this is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite sculpt in the silicone babies, period, bar none. Um, there's nothing like it. Um, there, there's just not. There's not. It, it, it's an amazing kit. It's the face, you guys. It's For me, it's all in the face. It's his, it's his chubby cheeks. It's his poochy mouth, and yeah. Now his um, this on um, this particular kit sculpt, his mouth has been modified. Uh, Carol done, um, she done a little boo boo over to the side at one point and cut over just a little bit too far, and she re. She resurfaced everything and filled it all in. And so his mouth has been somewhat just a little bit modified from the original version. But she did get the okay and um, she got the okay and the blessings from, um, oh heavens, what's his artist's name? Can't remember his artist's name right off the bat. I need I need to fix me out of paper where I have all of my kits, the artist names. I'm gonna do that as soon as I get done here. Um, but yeah, she got the blessings of her uh, for um, to do this to resculpt the lips. She got her blessing. She said as long as the uh, the new owner, as long as the owner was happy, then she's perfectly happy with the job that she done. And I will promise you. I'm perfectly happy. Um, I'm glad that she. I'm glad that she made the little miss lick when she was cutting over. I'm glad that she did that, and simply because this baby is biracial, and as everybody knows, uh, these beautiful biracial babies they have fuller uh, lips than what us Caucasian do, and um, all of all of us Caucasian women wished we had beautiful beautiful lips like that and we don't <laughs> we've got caucasian lips but yeah she when she redone him she um she done an amazing job on that mouth she really did he's perfect i couldn't ask i could not ask for any better um a job i really couldn't i really couldn't he's a little sweetheart for sure 
But anyway, I'm going to let you all go. Uh, hubby will be here in a little while, and I don't want to be in here making my video when he gets here because he just aggravates me, and he eavesdrops, and he tries to listen to every darn thing I'm saying, and I don't know why he's not interested in all of this. I think he just wants to know what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyway, God bless you all. We will talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed Mateo's video today. Um, today is Saturday. Uh, I hope you guys have a week, uh, a good weekend. And we will probably see you back again tomorrow. I'm going to change um, tomorrow. Unless I change my mind, I'm going to change my new uh, my new cattle baby um, that um, that I got. And I will, um, I just done my box opening on him yesterday. So if you've not seen that, pop over and check that out. And I will let you know tomorrow what I've decided to name him. God bless you all and we will see you later. Bye.